Hello again, good afternoon and welcome to business. Well, the Commissioner General, Emmanuel Kofinti, is inspecting newly refurbished help desk of the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority as part of government's E-Zone project. It is aimed at minimizing the use of paper at the various tax collection agencies under the recommendation of the World Trade Organization and as a component of the single window project. The Commissioner General is also using the opportunity to evaluate the single window program so far since its implementation. Now, Ebenezer Sabote is part of the entourage uh, currently with the GRE boss, and we would like to touch base with him to tell us more about the inspection. Good afternoon, Ebenezer. All right, so we'll get back to Ebenezer shortly after uh, this particular story. The World Bank is calling on government to step up efforts in investing in key areas of the economy. These include the agri and services sectors to maintain the country's middle income status. This investment, when successful, will make Ghana one of the best performing economies in the West African sub-region. In a speech read on his behalf, the country director, Her Henry Hilari, the World Bank praised Ghana for doing well in many areas so far noted uh, but noted there is more room for improvement. This was at the third School of Social Sciences International Conference held in Accra. Ghana is making significant inroads to harness data revolution for sustainable development as part of achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, of which data is key. Ghana is ready to roll out plans to successfully achieve these goals by 2030. Speaking at the Ghana Data Roadmap Forum in Accra, Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Baumia stressed the importance of government to invest in data acquisition to promote national development. He emphasized the need for any progressive government to secure flow of data to all stakeholders. Indeed, apart from data production, stakeholders represented here today will play key roles in encouraging use of data, in creating policy legislation and regulation that facilitate data sharing, providing expertise in the use of new technologies and types of data, and in supporting through resource allocation or in other ways, the entire data ecosystem. Alongside our international counterparts who have come to share their expertise with us, we will use the next two days to achieve the following. We will identify opportunities to align national development priorities and the SDGs. We will identify key data and technology gaps and potential new methods, sources of data and technologies to address them. Understand the data ecosystem in Ghana and foster the creation of, specific, of sector specific and cross cutting data communities will identify key issues on funding, resources, and capacity. Speaking with Joy Business on the feasibility for achieving its goals, Deputy Government Statistician Mr. Bawadier said although it is feasible, it will demand significant investments and hard work from all stakeholders. What has been done is that about a third of all these indicators are produced from our normal censuses and surveys. But the bulk is from the administrative sources, working documents in the offices of various MDAs. And these are a big chunk of information that we can work on. We, they can refine their procedures and then we will engage them. All right, so we sincerely apologize for that wrong insert. That was rather the Vice President, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, stressing the need for government to invest in accessibility and security of data as a country as part to achieve the sustainable development goals by the year 2030. Let's now go to our earlier story, and we have our correspondent, Ebenezer Sabote, together with uh, the entourage, uh, together with the customs, uh, by your pardon, the Commissioner General of the GRA, inspecting newly refurbished help desk of the Customs Division of the Authority. Let's get to Ebenezer to give us some updates. Ebenezer, good afternoon. Hello, Emmanuel. Now, so what has the GRA boss been Can saying? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Um, so the commissioner of the GRA, Mr. Emmanuel NT, he just left here. He actually came over to inspect some works that are ongoing 
as part of the single window project, that is the E-Zone, whereby every exporter or importer who wants to use the port will not be able to use paper again. Everything is going to be processed through electronic means. We call it E-Zone project. And it is part of the recommendations by the World Trade Organization to harmonize operations at the port. So he's been going around to familiarize himself with some of the works and then interacting with some workers at the customs division of the GRA over here. Right, so what will be the major impact of, of this help desk uh, to importers? Please come again. I, I what will be the major impact when this um, particular help desk is operationalized at the ports? Okay, the major impact of this project is actually to harmonize the operations. When it happens, it means the number of days that you spend at the port to clear your goods are going to be reduced. Okay. So if, for instance, you spend four days in processing documents to clear your goods, they are going to be reduced to 48 hours or 24 hours. It's actually part of the commissioner's agenda, he says, it's part of his agenda to reduce the number of days to the, I mean, barest minimum, okay. such that operations at the port will be simple. People who go about their normal duties can do it without any face interaction. Everything is going to be paperless and an electronic. Demand. All right. It's also going to help with revenue mobilization because you all know that there are so many revenue leakages at the port. But with the use of the digital service, with the use of the electronic services, I mean, revenue is going to be mobilized effectively. All right. Thank you very much, Ebenezer, for that update. We'll certainly come to you on the marketplace for some more details. That was Ebenezer Savupi. And that's it for business. Join me shortly on the marketplace. My name is Imano Abwaji. <laughs>